guys, as promised, I'm doing a story about Glenn because he is my best buddy here. He's my wig head. And actually, it's a very interesting story how me and Glenn met. No, it was not online dating. There was no website called date and find a wig .com. If there is, I apologize. I didn't check. So, I actually got Glenn. When I went to a, um, what is those things called? There was an author, M.T. Anderson, and he's a famous, I think, young adult author, but I just went because my friend invited me. He was giving a, um, art, not art lecture, but he was talking about his newest book called Feed, and that's why Glenn's orange, because the book Feed has a dude's head, a bald-headed dude's head on it, because apparently in the book, I didn't read the book, they put a chip in the back of your head, and then it feeds you advertisements so you can be up to date on the latest news. Which kind of sounds like a good idea because now you don't have to charge your phone or uh, check the internet. You can just have those things sent to your head. But it's also a horrible idea because really, if another Vistaprint ad comes on, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'll be in your head Vistaprint all day. So they had a bunch of wig heads set up and I think under them had like... Oh, it even got a little number under it says um, where the library was. But you could win prizes, and it was a really fun event. The author is a really cool, nice guy. I should probably read the book, but that's where I got the wig head. But um, they were giving out these wig heads, and at the end, they're probably just going to throw them away. Well, free wig head, it already comes mounted, and you know, a nice little box. And a book recommendation, so I would say that's a pretty good deal for a wig head. So I got Glenn, and oh, he doesn't want me to talk about his girlfriend. He always, he always every time I tell people about Glenn, I'm telling about his girlfriend. But I'll just tell you about him now. He's a pretty cool guy. He's a goth kid, as you can tell. He's got his nice, it's faded now because it's, um, he's older. I got it a couple of years ago, but it's kind of faded, but he's got the eyeliner. In the, I didn't want to give him eyeballs because that's creepy, but he's got a nose piercing. But the most really cool feature about Glenn, and he doesn't like to be bald. I think he looks sexy. Oh, look at him. The most real, the most really, the real, ah. The coolest thing about Glenn is that at the end of the uh, presentation, you were allowed to get autographs. And I'm not a big fan of the author. I'm pretty sure he's outstanding. I mean, the book idea was pretty cool. I thought it was nice. I didn't have anything from the sign, I didn't buy his book or anything, but I asked him to sign Glenn, and he said, on his head it says, this is Glenn by, um, oh my gosh, Tobin Anderson? That was M.T. Anderson. Well, he signed Tobin Anderson, so the author actually signed Glenn's head, so that makes Glenn the ultimate groupie. You know, lots of girls get their, like, boobs tatted up, or maybe they might have, um, other cool tattoos. But Glenn actually has a handwritten, I guess, tattoo from the author on his head. And he's been my buddy. He tries on all of my wigs, all of the costumes. He was helpful with my tiger and bunny wig, uh, my Marceline wig, which is a little fatality right now for poor Marceline wig. But... My whole, I will also style uh, my arm and wig on him, and then I'll go ahead and put my Poison Ivy one on there, too. So he's his go-to guy. He's chipping a little, but that's okay. He's cool. He did not go to a tanning booth and um, tan obnoxiously. He's just born, he's born that way. He's not a Lady Gaga fan, though. Doop, doop, doop. Anyway, so this is Glenn. He's a really awesome guy. I do invite you to check out this book. Apparently it won the Los Angeles Book Prize. So, called Feed. And it says by M.T. Anderson. So it was really nice of him to come to a library and talk to us about his book. I remember I did enjoy myself and thought it was really nice. So I don't I don't go to many of the uh, book presentations. I was going to say it's a book signing. He said, yeah, he signed books, but it, he did more than that. He did the whole thing on it. I thought it was really cool. So, if you're out there, I, people do I do appreciate you stopping by the public library and letting us in on your uh, writing. So, all right. Well, this is Glenn's story. If you have any questions for Glenn, I'll be more than happy to, um, to answer them. So he's a goth, so it's kind of hard. 
I know a lot about goth stuff. Glimpse goth guy, though. He's not emo. He's not seen. I thought he would be emo. Would you be emo? He's cute enough to be emo. But he's, he's not into, like, cutting himself and to, like, self-hated music. He's more of just some, I guess he'd be a really mellow little goth guy. He doesn't want to talk a lot, though. He's a pretty cool guy, though. Nice guy to hang out with. He's Okay, well, I thought I'd just take a break from working on the Attack on Titan jacket and talk about Glenn. And I'll see you guys later.